A story of a young elephant calf who became trapped in a cylinder and how he was rescued by courageous wildlife officers. The incident occurred in a harvested paddy field situated adjacent to a dense forest. One morning, villagers were startled awake by the loud trumpeting of a herd of elephants. As they hurried towards the source of the noise, they were met with the sight of a vast herd of elephants gathered nervously in a paddy field. Amidst the commotion, the mournful cries of a distressed baby elephant could also be heard. However, they couldn't ascertain precisely what had occurred as they were unable to reach the location where a large number of wild elephants had gathered. If the herd were to stampede, it would pose a deadly threat to the villagers without a doubt. Therefore, they quickly alerted the nearest Department of Wildlife Center about the incident. A team consisting of wildlife officers, members of the wildlife rescue team, and civil defense force officers promptly arrived at the location. They were astonished by the sight of a furious herd of elephants. Upon hearing the distressed cries of a baby elephant, they guessed that it was in trouble. However, they couldn't intervene in such a large group of wild elephants due to the life-threatening nature of the situation. So, the first action they took was to scare away the elephant herd with firecrackers. Dealing with untamed wild elephants is truly challenging and life-threatening. Thus, nobody could capture that moment as their primary concern was to help the distressed elephant while ensuring their own safety. Finally, they successfully dispersed the entire elephant herd using firecrackers. Following this, the team commenced inspecting the area. What they discovered was truly heart-wrenching. A delicate baby elephant trapped in a cylinder. It appears to be a small well dug for irrigating the paddy field. The field is situated next to a dense forest. <laughs> This herd of elephants likely ventured into the paddy field at night in search of food. On their journey back to the forest, this innocent calf must have accidentally fallen into the pit. The entire herd must have attempted to rescue the calf throughout the night, but unfortunately, they were unsuccessful. The poor baby elephant must be frightened and exhausted, crying out in utter distress. The officers discussed on the most suitable approach to extricate the elephant from the cylinder, aiming to minimize harm to the distressed animal. The Civil Defense Force officers stood guard at the forest border, remaining alert about the elephant herd while the wildlife officers focused on the rescue mission. Finally, they decided to place a rope loop around the calf and hoist him out. The landowner also lent support to the wildlife officers. Together, they successfully lifted the elephant out of the cylinder, freeing him. The baby elephant is excited and struggled a bit even after being freed. After rescuing the calf from the cylinder, they lifted him out of the muddy field and placed him in a safe location. As time passed, the baby elephant regained energy and began moving around.
However, he still struggled to walk properly due to the prolonged trapping in the cylinder. The officers attempted to guide the calf to the adjacent forest where the herd was residing. However, the baby elephant proved to be somewhat stubborn, exhibiting signs of distress towards the officers. Despite this, after about two hours of effort, they successfully managed to guide the baby elephant to the forest. They had to proceed cautiously to avoid being detected by the furious elephant herd. The officers observed from a concealed position behind the trees as the baby reunited with his mother and the rest of the elephants. Once they confirmed that the baby was safely back with the herd, the officers promptly left the forest. Dealing with such a large herd of elephants was beyond their capacity and they needed to prioritize their own safety. You may understand the gravity of the situation and how the officers performed the duty, risking their lives.